Welcome to a short introduction on how to operate LV software. In this tree view, you can select a program for your specific design problem. All of our programs have a uniform user interface and identical options. There is no difference whether you want to design a vessel according to TRD, ASME, European Standard EN13445, or AD2000 Magblätter. Let's start the B1 program to perform a calculation of a cylindrical shell under internal pressure according AD2000. First we select the type of the shell, in our case cylindrical. The input mask is structured in a text area where you can enter values and an equation area where you can enter values as well. LV programs work problem oriented. Enter all information you have at hand in arbitrary order. Just leave out the fields where you don't have any information and the fields you expect to be calculated. The program starts the calculation as soon as it has sufficient input to solve the equation. In our example we have an outside diameter of 1200 millimeters, a design temperature of 100 degrees centigrade and a design pressure of 12 bar. The test pressure is 12 times 1.43 bar. You can also enter calculation terms. For the material, the program expects a material number, a material name or a material identification number. You can also enter it partially. The material database is searched for your entry. This database comprises more than 3,800 entries and is still growing. In our case, we select a plate according to ADW1. The material values are transferred to the input mask automatically. Now we enter the joint efficiency factor of 0 0.85. The required wall thicknesses are calculated immediately. Now we enter the actual wall thickness of 8 mm. You get more results like biggest unreinforced opening or allowable operating pressure. Jump to the next input value with the tab key. Here the length of the cylindrical shell. With this software you can decide whether you want to enter a value or let the program calculate it. We do not differentiate between input values and results. You enter only known data or the desired result. In our example, we do not know the length of the cylindrical shell, but we know we need a cylinder with a volume of one cubic meter. We enter the inside volume VI one cubic meter. The required length is calculated immediately. As soon as you change a variable, all dependent values are recalculated.
let's change the actual wall thickness from 8 millimeters to 20 millimeters. You get the new results for the allowable pressure, the opening, but also for the required length, which is now larger, to receive one cubic meter volume with a smaller inside diameter. Let's now change the actual wall thickness to a more moderate value of 10 millimeters and we will receive the new results. In all of our software you can enter the values or let the program calculate them. To be able to override calculated values switch to expert mode. Now we want to rate an existing vessel. The required wall thickness shall be equal to the actual wall thickness. We change the required wall thickness to a value of 10 millimeters. This leads to an arithmetic conflict. This conflict is displayed. You decide which value should be adjusted to receive a required wall thickness of 10 millimeters. For example, how much will be the corrosion allowance? We undo the last action and enter 10 millimeters again. And want to know now what is the design temperature? We undo again and want to know how much is the safety factor S. This is an example for the operation of all LV software. Only enter variables you have information about. Leave out the variables you do not know or variables you want the program to calculate. After having entered sufficient inputs to perform the calculation of an equation, the calculation starts automatically and the equation is solved by the program. Thank you very much for your attention.